welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you lip swatches of my Stila liquid lipstick collection. I almost have all of them. I am just missing three of them, I believe. I'm a big time fan of these. These are my favorite liquid lipstick. Well, I love a 10, but these are one of my favorite formulas. I will say just like any other liquid lipstick, it can be drying. So you definitely just want to make sure that you really just moisturize. So I got really excited because just recently Stila launched this new Eternally Yours liquid lipstick set. So this is for their holiday set. I think this is awesome especially if you're a liquid lipstick lover and you love this and you can try out so many different colors. There's six of them right here. So if you haven't tried any, I believe this was $49 but when you buy each one I think they're about 17 or 18. I don't know. I'll link it everything down below. But I do have an array of colors that I already loved and owned and then I was really excited because then they came out with the mini set and I basically didn't have any of these except only one of them which is patina so I obviously was thinking whatever I love patina anyhow and I know I will use it a ton because I already am almost out I thought it was great just to get a set so I'm gonna just go into the swatches like I said I absolutely love this liquid lipstick but it can be drying but the longevity is so good it's like about four to five hours I'll eat something and it'll still be there I love it. Uh, what's great is also if you put a balm and then you place a liquid lipstick over, it still just uh, goes on really pigmented. It doesn't look patchy, so that's always a plus because sometimes with some liquid lipsticks, they go on a little patchy, but I love the formula of these. Also, the applicator is awesome. It has a regular... Uh, like little sponge doe foot applicator but I like the way it just curves with the lips liquid lipsticks can be tricky when you do apply them I am a medium skin tone right now my lips are a little bit more pigmented not too overly pigmented but the colors are really really opaque and I want to give you my uh, basically kind of review on each color some of them I haven't worn yet I'll tell you some of them apply better than others because I will say I feel like some do apply better so yeah. Enough rambling. Let's get on with the video. So one of my favorite ones to wear is Bellissima and this one is almost gone. If you could see like it's scraping through. That's how much I love. Whoa. <laughs> That's how much I love this liquid lipstick. Also, I'm facing my window because I want natural lighting for this. Uh, I love this color just because it is a really nice light nude, but it's not too light of a nude pink. Man, mine is re really running out because so much more product used to come out before. And I am a medium skin tone, so it's not too light. I think some people get scared of this, like it's going to go on too pale and it's going to look like ghost lips or concealer lips, which is nobody's best friend. But I absolutely love this color. So again, this is Bellissima. This one applies really well and it's easy because sometimes the, what the problem that you'll have with lighter shades is that you have to keep layering and layering just because they kind of go a little bit blotchy and patchy and not as pigmented. But this one, I've never had any problem, which is why it's almost done. And I just look at the site and it says that this one is a pale neutral pink and good news this set is not 49 it is 39 so I think that is a steal when you buy one of these I thought it was 17 or 18 it is 24 dollars whoo get the set now the next one I'm going to show you is called Rosa and I ended up showing this in a previous video and I am not a fan of this whatsoever I still have it just because I could not find the receipt uh, Sephora is easier with returning things I got mine at, at Ulta and this is super, what is that? This is a super pale pink to the point where it's just too light for my skin tone. And the way it applies, yeah, like need I say more? And the way it applies, is this a thumbnail? <laughs> the way that this one, I can't even look at myself. <laughs> The way that it applies, it goes in the fine lines. This one just really brings out the fine lines in your lips. Look. Like, that's not cute. Okay, and the reason why I didn't get rid of it is because you can always mix it with another liquid lipstick. Have I done it yet? No. It's just not my favorite formula. They came out with new colors, and I'll show you some other ones, but... I don't know. I just didn't like the formula of this one, so then that's why I halted on buying the other ones because, I mean, $24 is pretty, pretty pricey penny, but they last really well. So that's why I didn't mind buying them. That's why I have a collection of these. But this one, this formula, very thin. It goes in the fine lines, and I don't really recommend it, even if it goes for your skin tone, because the formula is just, it's not like, it's definitely not like Bellissima, because you saw Bellissima laid on really nice, and it wasn't drying and ghostly. Woo! 
These just look like crusty lips to me. And this one is described as a bubblegum pink. Okay, and another thing is with this set, I just realized that there's two new shades because Caramello is not part of the original line. This is one of the new shades that it came out with. So, sorry about that. I'm probably missing about five, I would say, of the colors, but it's okay. I'll show you the majority of the colors. This is Caramello, and it's a really nice nude. And this formula is a good one because it's super similar to Bellissima. It doesn't feel dry when you're putting it on. This is obviously a nude shade and it's definitely more like that creamy kind of nude, not a peachy nude. I like it. It's still not too light for me, so I'm able to wear this. And this is one of the new colors. It feels really good. Sometimes when you get like these little lines, what you can do just to correct it is just have your balm ready. Pucker up. And then it'll help just kind of take away some of those lines on your lips. Patina, and this is an all-time favorite from tons of people. This was such a hot lip product. So many people were trying to get their hands on it. It is available in the holiday collection. And Patina is a dusty rose color. Again, this one is Patina. I love this one. It lasts really well. And the formula in this one is great. I'm not I'm not sure why different formulas would be different. I guess just certain ingredients in order to make a certain color. I don't know. But this one is not bad at all. It doesn't dry my lips. It's not bringing out any fine lines. It's awesome. Aria. This is my Aria. And this is also in the holiday collection. And Aria is considered a magenta plum. And there we go right there. Now with deeper lip colors, it can be a little tricky to see mistakes. So you just have to just take your time. And it is a magenta plum. It went a little bit darker than what the tube would it looks like, if you can tell. And I really like this one. This is an awesome fall color. Oh. Aria. And just to keep the plums going and the purples, I should have put this one on, but this one is called Como. And this is a, a bright violet. I have not tried this on yet, so let's see how this baby works. This is my first time. This is one of the colors that got launched when uh, when Rosa came out. So I didn't like this one. I thought it was going to be like Bellissima, and then that's what it halted me from getting this one. So hopefully this one applies well, because I know a ton of people do like this color. Oh, wow. That is bright. And this one, yeah, this one feels good. Oh, ho, ho, ho. This one is definitely a bright violet, but I will say that this formula is awesome. It feels really nice and creamy, and it doesn't feel dehydrating on the lips, which is awesome. It wasn't that hard to apply either. I really like the applicators for this one, but like I said, with the darker colors, it gets a little bit tricky, and even though this one's super bright. Now, the next one is Karina, and this is a vibrant coral. I love this color. I'm someone where I love oranges and reds, so... This formula is really bright. Uh, I will say for this one, you definitely have to moisturize. It is, is a little bit thinner in formula than the others. And this one, I notice I have to layer on more because if you can see, there is some patchiness going on. So this, you do have to go over a couple times. See, as you can see, there's some patchiness right there. So now I just kind of have to go over it. It is a really beautiful color, but I will say right now, even applying it, I haven't worn it in a while. I just want to let you know. And I did have to layer it quite a bit. So I will say it's kind of patchy. You do have to layer. And when you layer these, I don't know. I'm not too big of a fan of the way it looks right now in person. No, unfortunately, I'm not liking it. Like in person, it looks patchy because of the extra layers. The other ones are so pigmented where you just do the one and you're just good to go. You don't have to keep going and going and going. And this is feeling a little heavy on my lips as well. Yeah, this one's like, uh, not one of my favorites now, unfortunately. And this is why I wanted to do a talk through because I was thinking I was going to do a talk through through these and just say, oh, I'm going to show you my liquid lipstick collection. Here you go. Boom, 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 boom. But this is good because I knew I had to do a talk through because some of the formulas are just completely different. Like I said, I don't know why it's like that. Okay, so now for one of my favorite, favorite colors, and if you've been watching my channel for a while, you will know I love Besso. I love this one. This one is a true red. This is awesome. I love it. It is just like my go-to red. It lasts really long and I've gotten a ton of you on it. It's very creamy in formula. It goes on great and can't you tell I love this like a lot. This one I will say that I love so much and it's not as drying as the other formulas. You do have to be careful how you apply it because right now it's a little bit uneven so it's making my lip shape look a little different right now. But I love this one. So many people were like, Lizzie, you got to get fiery if you love Besso. 
now I have it because of the holiday collection, but I love Besso. I highly recommend this one. This one's just a true red. So now let's go on to Fiery. Now that I got it, everybody told me I needed it. I've never tried this one so far, and I'm really excited. I'm laughing because I'm taking off my lip color, and if you've watched my other video, I did the swatches of all the Anastasia liquid lipsticks, and I had something that I called a ring of fire. I'm using these makeup wipes, so it just takes it off easier, and it's just gentle. The, what are these, the Neutrogena? But I'm laughing because back then I used, I think it was a vino and it just, it gave me a ring of fire. I'll link that video down below. Okay, so now let's try Fiery. Let's see what all the rage is about. Oh yeah, this one's super creamy as well. So this one is a beautiful red, and like I said, this one's deeper in shade. The other one's just a true red. So this is what Fiery looks like. I love it. It's beautiful and stunning. I'll probably wear it the next time I wear a red lip because, I don't know, I love it. The formula is super creamy, doesn't feel like drying at all, and it's really equivalent to like how Patina feels, how that Caramello one feels, how uh, Besso feels. I love this one. It feels it feels really good. And now for the last one. This one is called Shianti, and this is a new color. This looks pretty deep in hue, and it is just like one of the, I didn't even do hand swatches, I'm sorry, but I feel like just lips are more beneficial, right? But this definitely is more of like a deeper plum. I did a previous video, a deeper purple plum, so... Yeah, in the tube you can see like the more purple, so let's try this one. Again, this is a deeper shade, so... Oh, this one's hydrating as well. Wow, that's dark. This one is going to be harder to apply just because you have to really make sure you get even in application so you don't start like making one lip look higher than the other and yeah, you want symmetry as much as you can. Okay, this is as good as I'm going to get it. This is one of those colors where you definitely want to use a lip liner. It's going to help in application a hundred times more. Another one I would say that you need an, eye, um, an eyeliner, a lip liner for is also Aria because that one can tend to bleed. Um, yeah, not Patina though, not the other one. So I would say like for the darker shades for Aria and now this one, uh, Shianti, then I would definitely say use a lip liner if you have one of this shade. This is pretty dark. This is a deep, deep purple. I get scared of these shades. I can't wear them out. I'm being very honest. I wish I could. Um, I just get scared. I think it's just the contrast of my teeth against this. And I'm just like, uh. And just so I can show you one of my favorite combinations is when I take Bellissima and I mix it in with Patina. And I love this. It just gives you like that more of a light dusty pink. And these are awesome to combine. But this is one of my favorite lip combinations that I would wear all the time. Okay, so that was it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below what your favorite liquid lipstick is or if you have any of these and what you think. I would definitely take advantage of their holiday pack because you get a ton of colors. Uh, yeah, I absolutely love this liquid lipstick. It lasts really long. Like I said, you just want to moisturize just like using any other liquid lipstick. Don't forget to subscribe because you know the deal. It is free 99. I'll link all my social medias down below. And I'll also link my Anastasia lip swatch video where I have the ring of fire that I was talking about earlier. So I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah! Woohoo!